Well, I had been teaching digital strategy for quite some time, and there were many great books written on the team, but they took either a technology-centric approach or they focused on the business models. And, and what I think is really the most important and interesting aspect of digital transformation is the changing nature of management and, and management mindsets inside the companies. So I wrote a book about that. So what is happening is that managers are seeking to systematically replace the human-centric routines with uh, automatic uh, processes with, with algorithmic control. And in the book I, I um, analyzed this as, as two ideals, digital uh, omniscience and digital omnipotence. So the digital uh, omniscience is, is really this attempt of companies to capture the world through digital data flows and, and AI. So take Facebook for example. What they are doing is they are gathering all this data of how you use the service and also acquiring these data streams from, from their partners in order to understand what your interests are and how likely you are to, to engage with different kinds of adver advertisements. And, and then companies also need to implement this digital omnipotence, which is really this ability to control the world, control the employees, the user experience uh, through software. So in the case of, of Facebook, uh, they can change uh, in real time the content you see, the advertising you see, based on how you behave. Outside the cyber realm, this explains very much what's driving the Internet of Things. So this changing managerial mindset really helps explain many of the, of the changes we see in companies because of digitalization. So in the book I focus on, on uh, uh, management and strategy, organizations and, and work. So in terms of strategy, we are seeing the old sources of advantage really diminishing because of these digital capabilities, but also new ones emerging. So if you take, for example, Uber, they have all this data about the demand for cars and the availability of drivers. And, and they are using this uh, digital omni, omniscience uh, to constantly change in real time the pricing of the service and, and the compensation they offer to drivers in order to, to create a more eff efficient match between these two. So this is an example of, of how companies can optimize their operations in real time to create an advantage. In, in terms of organizing, we are seeing really this increasing uh, use of team-based structures, uh, which, uh, which enable much uh, more flexible and, and rapid development of, of, of new processes. In terms of culture, companies are becoming much more transparent. If you look at uh, established incumbents, pre-digital companies, they have this uh, really prevalent culture of secrecy whereas almost all, all these digital companies are much more transparent. Just to take one example, it is now a standard in these technology companies to make all the performance indicators of all their employees visible inside the company to, to everyone else. And, and finally, my book looks at the future of work and, and how AI is, is really changing the nature, the roles, the work roles in companies. And what I see here is, is really a polarization. On the one hand, we have these incredible AI-enabled tools that is improving the productivity of, of experts. But then at the same time, uh, there's this new phenomenon of algorithmic management where, where human supervisors are basically being replaced by software systems and, and mobile apps that control the workers. So I was doing research uh, on, on these food delivery companies and, and this one example is a, is a firm, they have a system that estimates how long it should take uh, for an employee to deliver the food. And if they consistently take more than four minutes above that, the system sends them a message that unless you try faster, you will be fired. Uh, if, if you're interested in these themes and, and you want to learn more about the book, then you can, uh, you can find it on Google. It's called The Data Imperative, published by the Oxford University Press.